Tabitha and you're watching VET and if you're new here I'm kindly asking that you please hit that subscribe button before we go any further and turn on post notifications so that you're notified every single time that we post a new video. Now without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video <laughs> entitled how a guy changed my life. Now I know this sounds dramatic but at the end of the story you're gonna uh, decide yourself judge if it's really worth the title if the story is really worth the title so yeah without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video so um this was somewhere in high school yeah it was november yeah november 2013 somewhere i was in 10th grade yeah <laughs> so you know for us 10th uh 10th graders especially because we were the youngest uh grade at that time at my school it was a boarding school so we had to go for compulsory meals yeah it was compulsory for us to go for meals okay it's, it was pretty much compulsory for everybody but then i think you couldn't really tell the older uh students what to do but yeah you could tell us what to do because we we're in 10th grade so i'm at the dining hall minding my own business <laughs> and then guys <laughs> and then this guy walks in Woo! <laughs> guys this guy was a guy like Tender, spicy meat <laughs> yeah boy that's it that lovely <laughs> i remember what he was wearing um he was wearing chinos that back that time i don't know if guys do wear chinos right now well, okay i don't know but yeah back then when chinos had just become a thing yeah so he was wearing maroon chinos and had a white shirt and a red necktie um he was a prefect and it for us at our school for you people yeah he was a prefect and for you people who've been at dk i think you know that prefects wear red neckties and so he comes in with his maroon chinos and the white shirt we, okay the white shirt was part of uniform yeah so obviously he wore white shirt and then the same um the same tie the red tie he had just been confirmed as an actual perfect yeah so now he had his red tie as well and the red badge and oh my gosh oh so he just came in and he's looking so cool man like god wow he was just looking like like hey okay anyway like yeah so he comes in with his walk and then you know most times the perfects never used to come like one person no no, no. they would come so systematically in a queue and then they're just there like looking at us giving us orders and i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> whoa so mind you yeah mind you i had already known this guy from i think we used to we used to greet each other i'm not saying we used to talk um yeah we would greet each other when we see each other we'd be like hi hey blah 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 so i don't know for whatever reason that day that day he looked different that day he looked hot like I really don't know for whatever reason because it's not like it was the first time I was seeing him. No, of course he was a prefect. I used to see him and we're in the same committee. Back in high school, we, we had this... Com okay, that's a different thing, but we had committees. So we're in the same committee and all that stuff. So for whatever reason, guys, and I even remember that date. That should have been like 14th November 2013. He walked into the dining hall. Mm, man. So, okay, so he walks and all of a sudden I'm just feeling butterflies in my nani and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> he was out of my league heart, like, okay, I was 13 back then, so I don't know. <laughs> if I'll get into that, talking about how my 13-year-old me looked like. Yeah, so yeah, guys, this guy was hot. And I'm not just saying small, small hot, uh-uh. And he had this back then i still used to like light skin guys yeah so he had this mixed dish thing nice curly hair nice beard and back then not a lot of guys had had beards because i mean 2013 like guys were like 15 16 17 somewhere there not a lot of people had beard but for some reason he had one and it was just so and yeah, nice perfect hair nice curly hair you guys and i'm just thinking like wow but you know sad thing for sis um <laughs> Sis is like he he you know back in high school there's those things the cool people and the not so cool people and the people that don't care and the church people all these kind of classes yeah so I'm thinking to myself and just being honest with myself like uh sis you're not in his league like <clears throat> first of all have you seen the girls who are just his friends like just his friends not even girls that he like um yeah, not even girls that he like fucks with and all that stuff like justice friends have you seen those girls Dead. i would sit 
oh that was now after after dining hall experience like now that's when i actually had an actual crush on him or i liked him or whatever yeah something like that but i used to like i didn't tell anyone about it actually because i feel like even if i told my friends that i liked this guy okay we're just gonna call him james so um if i i thought to myself if i ever even told my friends that i like james they're gonna laugh at me because bruh I mean, look at yourself. He's one of the hottest guys in school. And I'm not even kidding. Like, he's one of the hottest guys in school, you guys. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if that was when my guy sense started to come. Like, my liking guy sense or whatever. I think it took a, a, a while. But that's when it was being there, like, legit, legit. Yeah, so, um, I'm thinking about it. And, you know, whenever we see each other, like, when the few times we talked to me at committee meetings was like, he'll be, he'll be telling me, like, wow, you remind me of my little sister. You look like my little sister. <sighs> Bruh. Like, sister zoned. Sister zoned, you guys. Like, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> okay, just to hurt, I'm not gonna lie. Just, to, just Like, I like you. Notice me. Like me too. What's wrong? I mean, mm, like me. Why don't you like me? <laughs> yeah, anyhow, I was actually still kind of glad that he actually could talk to me because guys when i tell you that this thing was real this is cool people not cool people blah 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 like people the 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 eat people chill with the eat people and the eat guys chill with the eat girls this thing was real man like <laughs> i was real and i'm just there in 10th grade um i was this okay i have always talked too much i've always been confident and all that stuff but like there's certain things i wasn't like i didn't care how i looked like how i dressed and all that stuff that was my first time being in a boarding school so back home my mom used to like do like pick up my clothes and so when i went to boarding school i didn't really care like it's not like i had bad clothes but i just didn't know how to put them together so i'd sometimes look ridiculous and i didn't even do makeup i didn't do any girly thing you know like i didn't do anything but when i started to like this guy guys my mission had become my mission had become being worthy of liking this guy like don't judge me <laughs> don't judge me i was 13 but like not even like me having a chance with him no no, no that, that was too high of a goal that was too too high like i couldn't even go there the, my mission was only to at least be worthy of liking him so that when i maybe tell my friends that i like this guy they won't think i'm crazy like i, I wanted to look a bit more you know like i'd look at myself in the mirror and i'm thinking monday you're okay you know like you're, you're, you're cool you're cool like you just ha i think you just have to put yourself together a bit because i'll compare the girls that he actually talked to and actually liked it on so yeah i decided to like change myself you guys like i went back home i told my mom yeah i went back home i told my, that was november yeah then december we close we break for we break for uh what do you call that holiday oh, december holiday yeah we break for that holiday so yeah so i go home and i tell my mom like mom i want bras and it's like what yeah i want to start wearing bras now and she's like, but why do you want to wear bras? You're young and all that stuff. And I'm like, mm -mm. I want to I want bras. I want to go back to school. I want bras. My, uh, I forgot to mention this. I wasn't even wearing bras yet. Really had a crush on this person who was not in the league. And yeah, so it was sad. It was sad. I was just a kid. And see, I've always been small. So just, it, this is me at 20 something. I'm not going to say 20. Okay. I'm 20, but turning 21. So yeah, so this is me now. Imagine how smaller I was. At 13 so yeah i was pretty small i really go back <laughs> to school now um i'm wearing bras and stuff i'm feeling girly womanly and all that stuff you know i'm feeling myself guys this bra thing was a huge deal i'm telling you it was a huge deal so yeah i'm just feeling cool about that and some of the clothes that my mom had bought me the past year some of the things i've been wearing like those really long skirts because in 10th grade i was actually a seventh day adventist like i used to go to an to an sda church and yeah you needed to really wear those long things so i didn't care i didn't carry the old stuff now i just came in with new drip i changed my entire wardrobe i changed how i looked and just everything everything like i just changed and those other clothes that i felt like oh like i shouldn't wear this i shouldn't wear this i just stopped wearing them and what else there's these shoes that she had bought me i remember and i told them like i'm not gonna wear this because they don't look that nice so yeah, I just became more, um, fuck, I'm tired. I just became more self-conscious and I'm not done. Apart from the physical transformation, I did up a 
mental transformation, a, a spiritual transformation. Okay, I don't know what kind of trans transformation you're going to call it, but this was a transformation from being holy of holies to being screw screw. So now I was already dressing some way and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just dressing different. I've got a bra now and you know, those kind of things. Your girl is, your, your girl is grown now. You know, she's doing those things. Yeah. And then, um, I decided I didn't want to be not cool anymore. So I started chilling with the cool people. <laughs> okay. I'm not even going to lie, but my friends are cool. Yeah. Anyway, I started chilling with the, like, no, okay. Let me not say cool. Maybe cool will sound wrong, but those girls, you know, the, like the girls and the girl. Okay. And the girl. And you know, now people would like. Uh, some people who knew me from 10th grade will be like, um, one day you change, blah, blah, blah. And I would actually feel good, like, oh, so they noticed, so there's a difference, so I'm cool now, you know. <laughs> Woo! Guys, if I tell you I did all the stuff for the guy I liked, just for me, like, just for him, just for me to feel like, yeah, it's okay, I can like him. Like, I'm actually that girl, like, I'm that bitch. You get, I did all that stuff just to feel like that bitch because of this guy. And up until now, from then, I've, I've never ever not really felt like that bitch. You know, I've, I've always acted like that bitch and I feel like that bitch, you know. So, of course, yeah, there's momentary lows and all that stuff where you feel like you're not yourself and all that stuff. But, like, that's where I trace my screw screwness uh, from. Yeah, that's where that came from. And, oh, you, pro you guys probably know what happened to James or whatever. Um, yeah, I just ended up liking him and feeling worthy of it and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Then there was this one time he gave me some compliments, you guys, like, it felt like, oh. <laughs> well, like, he complimented how I was looking and I was just like, wow, wow, I've made it in life. <laughs> some time actually stopped liking him the whole thing just went but uh i didn't go back to how i used to be before yeah i don't know if i've explained this story correctly like in order or was this rumbling but i hope you enjoyed this video guys see you next time bye